Cardinals are playing the Reds, and out of the near 1,000 breakdowns we've made, I don't think we've covered what we're about to talk about, so I'm excited about it. I'm interested. I love learning new things and finding out the process, and this one's brought to you by DraftKings. And Download the number one sportsbook app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do to let them know I sent you. Sonny Gray, little pitcher on pitcher crime, going to squeeze that one right past the glove to put himself on first base. That's a runner on first. The next batter, rookie of the year nominee, favorite, Jonathan India. Where Here's John Boy Media hats in his post-game press conferences. He's He gets a single. Stevenson, next up, puts that one like through that guy's glove. He kind of just squeezed it too early, and that's a problem because now it's bases loaded for a dude who's absolutely lights out with the bases loaded. 350 average, 81 RBI, six home runs, and not only that, Castellanos is also lights out against Jay Happ. He's 13 for 26, 500 average. So if you think you know what's about to happen, you probably do. First pitch, low and away, fouled off. 0-1, low and away again, fouled off. 0-2, time to bust him inside. Let's move it around. That's a ball. They try to do it again here on the 1-2 pitch. Misses his spot, too much of the plate. Castellanos says, I'll just do what I do. Hits a homer, a grand slam. Puts the Reds up big, and here's what the video's all about. The bat is chipped at the top. The cup, it's all broken up. Is that legal? Illegal? Can you use a broken bat? The Cardinals noticed this before he even stepped in the box, probably put it in their brain, like, hey, let's have them check this out. Check out the camera guy's shot here. Tracking the ball like an absolute stud. Great job by that camera operator. If you know him personally, tell him I say, good job. Schilt comes out and he says, can we check that bat? Can we check his bat? Um says, check his bat? He says, yeah, check his bat. Broken on top. So Nick's in the dugout saying, what's going on as the umps get together? And the main ump is going to say, can you use a broken bat? They're trying to figure it out. Like, what's the rule here? And then he says... I don't really know what to enforce. They're trying to figure it out. I think Cuzzy now is telling him, well, like, well, I don't think it's actually, you know, a corked bat or broken to his benefit. I think he was just using a chipped bat. And then the home plate ump, he says, well, hold up. I'm pretty sure we got to check the bat out first. So let's bring it out. Hey, can you bring that bat out? We've got to take a look at it. And they take a look at it and they're like, yeah, you know what? This wasn't for your benefit. It's just a broken bat. But, you know, you can't use it again. That's fine. We're not, everything's going to stand. I don't think you did this to benefit you. It's not corked. It's not extra pine tar. It's just a little broken, but, you know, clear things up in the future. Let's just not use it. Safety concerns. There is a specific rule about how much your bat can be chipped on top and how much it can't. And I think maybe that's a little more chipped than it can, but Castellanos is like, well, if I can't use it, you use it, kid. And those girls are overjoyed for him. And look at that kid's face. That's what it's all about. So this kid should think, Castellanos and the Reds, but he should also thank Schilt, the Cardinals manager, because if he doesn't say anything, he doesn't get this bat. Now he's got an awesome bat. That kid's excited. Reds just making fans happy nonstop. They go tell Schilt, they're like, hey, everything stands. He's not going to use the bat again. It wasn't messed up in his favor. It was just broken a little bit. And Schilt's like, well, I don't know. If it's an illegal bat and you're saying it's illegal, it doesn't count. Can we just double check this? They're like, sure. We'll call up New York. And this up, he's like, yeah, is, is there a rule on this? Is there a rule that says he can't do something like that? And he's just trying to get it, get it right. Good job by umps. It's a really it's a really weird rule. If you're not positive on it, call up and check. They tell Schilt he accepts it. He's like, okay, whatever. And then they're gonna walk over and they're gonna clear it up with the Reds and Castellanos a little bit. And he just has one question. So everything stands though. And they're like, yep. And he says, who was the one who asked to see it? Who was it? The manager that asked? And they're like, yeah, I think it was the man. The manager. Okay, all right. Well, he's a new enemy now, and I'll remember that forever. Phil Cousy's like, no, no, he was fine. He's just clarifying. It's all good. It's all good. And Cassiano says, okay, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Bell says, thanks, guys. Love it. And then Jesse Winker in the dugout, he says, get out of here with that. Weak. Shh. Get out of here. I don't got a problem with any of it at all. I think everyone handled this well. Cassiano hits a grand slam. The umpires handled this properly. And even Schilt. You know, his post-game press conference was all right. Is it a little bit of gamesmanship? Would he have cared if they said, you know what? It was an illegal bat. He can't use it. That home run doesn't count. Would he have been a little happy? Sure. Worth the risk. 
didn't go your way, not going to complain. Here's his post-game press conference about it. He speaks on why he asked the check and everything. And this one, reminder, was brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings, download the number one rated sportsbook app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do. Bet on my Reds. They're my NL team. They rep John Boy Media, so I rep them. That was chipped, you know. It's just by rule. Look, I don't want to make it a big deal. Guy at homer with a with a chip bat, so good for him. Really ain't gonna say anything initially, but the bat boy just ran out there so quickly. I just wanted I didn't want the bat to get gone. I knew there really wasn't any recourse, you know. Thought the crew handled it well. Um, just wanted to make sure we captured the bat because he went out there so quickly. But it's really just a safety issue with a crack bat. But put a good swing on it and had a couple good swings and you know that was that was it. Nothing bigger than that.